backing up and restoring your entire PC. In this lesson we're going to discuss the backup and restore center. We'll show you how to manually backup your system and then we'll discuss the backup status and configuration tool. Okay, so let's get started. Let's face it, computers die. They overheat, they get old, they get run down, a lightning strike creeps up the wires into your box. It only takes one time of you losing all of your data for you to realize how much sense it makes to back up your computer. Okay, so we want to work with the backup and restore center. So to start with, we want to click the start orb and we can type in backup and restore center from the instant search here. And you see the backup and restore center is right here. Or we can select all programs, go to the maintenance folder and select backup and restore center from there. And from within the center you can back up your data files, you can back up your computer, or you can restore files and restore your computer. In this lesson we want to create a Windows Complete PC backup and restore image of our entire computer. In the event the system crashes, we can use this backup image to restore our computer. So to start with, let's kick off the wizard here. If we select Backup Computer, we select Continue. From here we can choose to back up to another hard disk or we can choose to back up to one or more DVDs. So that's your choice. In this case we'll leave it as the second volume. We'll click Next. And here you can see it gives us the information that the backup could take up to 12 gigabytes of disk space. The local disk C will be backed up. We select Start Backup. And so you can see our backup completed successfully. So we'll select Close. And now you can see the last backup was performed today and where those files are located. Now if you want to restore your computer, you can select the Restore Computer button here. However, if your system has really crashed and you need to restore your system from the backup you've just created, what you want to do is put your DVD back into the system and repair your computer instead of doing an installation. That will bring you to a new screen where the repair process will look for your Windows Vista installations and you'll be presented with the system recovery options. Included in the recovery options will be a link that says Windows Complete PC Restore so you'll be able to restore your system from the backup you've just created. Now the Backup and Restore Center is a simple way to protect your data but if you want to make changes in the process if you want to change the structure of your backups you want to use the Backup Status and Configuration tool. This is found through Programs, Accessories, and then under System Tools, Backup Status and Configuration. And from here you can see the Windows Complete PC Backup. We just performed, it was successful, it tells us where it's located. We can perform another backup now if we choose, or we can select Backup Files or Restore Files and so from here you can make configuration changes to your backups. You can establish the backup so that it will perform automatically on a schedule. You can change the network drive you back up to or if you want to back up to DVDs. And you can change if you're backing up file types. You can change whether or not you want to back up pictures, music, videos, and so forth. So we hope you found that helpful and thanks for viewing.